I think the best place to start is just explaining, like, a bit of background on Plasma Big Screen and, like, what it is, just for anyone entirely unaware of the project. Mm. Yeah, so, like, Katie's kind of more and well-known for Plasma Desktop, which is our desktop environment for laptops, desktops, um, well, you know, like, it's it's kind of the general purpose desktop for anything. Mm -hmm. um, but when Plasma was designed, I think especially in Plasma 5, um, they... Sorry, there's <laughs> one more, but <laughs> I love yeah, uh, Plasma was kind of designed to be used with different form factors. So internally, there's it's quite generic. Um, mm. So that's how Plasma Mobile was able to be created uh, using like shared base with Plasma Desktop. Um, and so I like I don't have like a super good history of big screen, but <laughs> From what I can tell from looking at the history, as well as like previous blog posts about it, um, around 2020, uh, Plasma Big Screen was kind of released to the public mm -hmm. as part of, um, there was a developer that worked on it for uh, targeting Mycroft, which is some sort of hardware platform for like, like as a smart speaker with like a small screen on it, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the, the core thing about it was that it had this this library for doing um, voice recognition and like it kind of it's kind of like an open source like Alexa or um, I forget the other ones. Uh, yeah, people know if you say Alexa, they'll know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you're supposed to run that software um, on your TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of like have a, like a remote or some sort of mic. You can tell it certain commands using your voice and then it can do like, you can basically control your tv like that mm -hmm. and then it was also like an interface to launch apps um to basically interact with your tv but it runs so the special part about that is that it's running on just like regular like a regular linux distribution mm -hmm. um, and you'd install it the same way that you'd install plasma desktop or gnome or other uh, desktop environments Mm -hmm. For anyone uh, kind of curious, I, I was having a look at Minecraft at one point, and one of the people involved in like the actual startup of it is Ryan Stipes, who's now over at uh, Thunderbird doing their like big marketing stuff. I think he was like big a big part of the reason they started doing their like donation drive, the like donation pop up thing they have. Um, so just random bit of uh, random bit of law involving that project. Um, besides that, I don't think anyone's even heard of Mycroft, right? Like, I had no idea this even existed beforehand, and I don't think anyone even remembers it exists. The, um, the code yeah. for it is available. You can actually go find the code still. It's just the hardware itself. If somebody has some hardware and can actually show it to me, that would be cool. I, I would very much appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I thought it was a pretty cool project, but yeah, it just seems it kind of died out in the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, there is another project that, um, like, I think some of the maintainers actually contacted me. I entered their Matrix channel mm -hmm. uh, to kind of continue the software side of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. um, except I th think what they... I forget the exact vision, but I believe some parts of Minecraft are kind of closed off to contributions, so they're so it was actually started when Minecraft was running. Uh, right, they right. kind of wanted to make, create a completely open version of that. Um, right, they had like... Uh, weren't they going to have like front ends for like Spotify and stuff like that? Yeah, they have some sort of uh, like app system, mm. I think, to basically load like extensions to mm. the system so you can add like voice integration right. as well as like a actual like touch or TV interface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how the original big screen apps were kind of shipped. They were shipped as this thing called Mycroft Skills. Um, what a name. But... <laughs> yeah. So the way that you described it here was just like mini applications. I, 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 don't, I don't know what they were doing with the Mycroft Skills name, but it's, it's basically like apps that you would have on any other sort of system. That's just the, the simplest way to, to look at it. Um, yeah. Um, like I, th the, all the, all the skills that were shipped in big screen were like cute based. Ah, 
Yeah, which makes me think that I think they had some sort of integration. I think they had some sort of integration with Qt mm -hmm. um, specifically to do the skills. But anyway, it was kind of specific to Minecraft. So mm -hmm. yeah, now on we're probably going to just focus on making regular like Linux desktop apps mm -hmm. um, that are just built for TVs. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can use like a TV remote to navigate everything. But yeah. So before you had a look at anything, so first, first off, uh, you, you're not the only person who's doing stuff. I, 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 I know there are other people involved and I do want to make sure those get highlighted as well. Um, but before you or anybody else involved, like sort of revived what was going on here, what sort of state were, like, was things left in? Well, my my was... Oh, sorry. I just heard my voice back then. Or did I hear another voice? Maybe there was just a voice in the background I heard. Um, I don't know. Okay, I do have my speaker set up, so I hope they're not feedbacking into itself. Okay, okay. Uh, um, I only just heard it then, so it's it. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, before there was this sort of revival of the project, what sort of state was things in? Because my understanding is, it was on QT five before. And then the port was sort of done to six, and that's kind of when the project like faded out of development. Yeah. So last year, the original maintainer did come back and actually do the port to Qt six and Plasma six. It was a few months late, so it didn't actually make the Plasma six six point oh release. Mm -hmm. I think it was already six point two mm -hmm. at that time. Um, so yeah, there's like a massive merge request that like affected like almost every file. Um, and it also overhauled the UI a bit and, and, and like kind of got rid of all the Mycroft stuff and like it was trying to kind of, yeah, reorient itself as like a regular desktop environment, but, mm -hmm. um, there weren't any contributions since then really from that maintainer. Right. Um, if I think yeah, they used to work for Blue Systems, but I think they've moved on to, uh, he's moved on to another company. So mm -hmm. it's not really his day job anymore, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the shell worked, like you could launch it, you could- That's a, that's um, a start at least. <laughs> uh, and like there were, there, were a few, there were a few people that weren't like, they didn't have KD developer accounts, but mm -hmm. they were trying to contribute to the project. They're just right. really, really interested in getting big screen off the ground. Right. So uh, there were people interested, but there was nobody there to merge stuff. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. And right. the other plasma developers, I don't think we're super comfortable merging things to a project. They didn't really, they weren't really that involved in. Sure. Sure. Um, so there were a few merge requests merged, but, uh, not too much. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there was this one specific developer. Uh, oh, he wasn't. He wasn't like he. He he doesn't have a KD developer account, but mm -hmm. um, this person called User Eight Three Nine Five, who's done a lot of investigation the past few months into big screen, mm -hmm. uh, and they were also involved in mobile. So I was kind of watching him work on it, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, yeah, this project might need some help. Um, so that along with one of my other friends who also started working on big screen. Um, yeah, I kind of joined in after that. So the port was there to Qt6, but like where, how, how okay. There's sort of a couple of directions we can go with this. Like you, okay, let's start, I guess UI wise, like UI wise, it seemed like it was Basically, the port was there, but design work kind of wasn't yet. It was like, we got it working. It's basically using desktop elements forced into a big screen kind of look or big screen kind of layout, but not necessarily designed with that sort of environment in mind. 